Hey guys, we've got a lot of new products because Black Friday did crazy things for my bank account. Once again, I think I said this in my last makeup tutorial, which I'll put in the description down below. These are confessions of a shopaholic. Should you, you know, take my path in life and be a shopaholic? No, I don't recommend it, but you don't pick your struggles, you know, everyone, <laughs> everyone's got their thing and this is just my thing. Hello, that's very up close and personal. I'm gonna try out a few new things. Everything I bought, to my knowledge, is cruelty free. But sometimes those blog posts are so confusing because sometimes companies go back and forth whether they're like fully cruelty free or not cruelty free. And sometimes it's just difficult. So if something I bought isn't cruelty free, I'm sorry to all the animals out there but i tried my damn best i don't purposefully buy anything that's tested on animals but if i slip up that's on me sis also i'm one of those that I'll buy, I'll buy things that i already have and then i'll start using the new thing and then leave the old thing and then the old thing will expire and it's a whole process however because this is kind of like a showing you new things i kind of want to use it this is first aid beauty ultra repair lip therapy to repair dry lips because sis i've been struggling with dry lips so i'm going to use the lip therapy now it smells like peppermint some people hate it some people love it it smells like toothpaste so if you like the smell of toothpaste which you probably should and you know you should use it and stuff then you'll be fine but if you don't then um do you brush your teeth i just want to know sis i can't wait <laughs> to get my top lip done. Like if we're gonna get real, I have nothing, completely nothing against plastic surgery. If you do, that's fine. With me, like as long as you do it in a way that is healthy, risk-free and isn't just obnoxious and like over the top, I think like why the f not? I've wanted to get my top lip done for so long. So my top, my bottom lip is fine. Like sis is there, she's, you know, she's even got more color than the one on top. But like on top, I've got the cupid's bow, which is like proportionate to my bottom lip, if, you, if that makes sense. I never overline like the top, but then my sides are just like non-existent. So I just want to like bring these bad boys up. Tell me if there's anything you want to get done. I kind of want to know like what are people's views on plastic surgery, even though getting your lips done isn't really plastic surgery because it's literally just injecting something that isn't permanent into your, it's, it's just an injection kind of a thing. But I know some people are like completely anti like changing anything in your body, which is perfectly fine. But that's not me, sis. I'm very like, do what makes you happy. Kind of just do what will make you feel good about yourself. You know, don't, it doesn't matter what other people think. You know, that's not what matters. Okay, we're going to use First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. Safe for sensitive skin, which is me. <laughs> I'm going to use, I mean I squirted out a fair bit, but this is basically just, I'm going to use two primers. I'm going to use the moisturizing primer and then an actual primer. But how have you guys been? I feel like I really like these videos because I have time to talk to you guys more than just talk at you guys. <laughs> With obviously my commentary videos, I'm talking at you more than to you because I've already got like a preset list of things I'm going to say to you. And then like I don't actually get to like ask you guys how you are like even with the stupid plastic surgery question i wouldn't ask you that if i was filming a video about fucking zoella because there's no correlation so first of all opinions on plastic surgery yes or no if yes what would you do that's part a and part two part a and part two yes because that's how the alphabet goes it goes a and then straight to two and then question number two how are you guys how's life treating you i'm gonna use the I'm so bad at doing makeup videos because I literally just like get on with the product. I don't show it to you guys. I'm going to use the Tarte, the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. This was recommended by Tarte. It's really nice. Except the one problem I have with it is like all, I get like little bits of like fluff stuck in it. Oh, it's so annoying. I forgot to tell you guys. Okay. So if I move my head to the side, you're going to see something that I've already put on my Instagram and Snapchat and I've retweeted your guys' pictures on Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and add me on Snapchat, they'll be on screen right now or in the description down below. But see that bad boy? That is, in fact, the silver play button. We're already on 160k almost as I'm filming this. Let's get a precise number so that we're not lying. 160k and 206. Obviously... 
that came in the mail yesterday it's because i ordered it pretty pretty late on um in the game because i've been pretty busy but it's amazing like to physically have something that's like you have subscribers so here's this physical thing that you can actually touch and it's and it's here i'm gonna use the hourglass vanish stick foundation i've already spoken about this in my last video so i'm not gonna kind of go into like the ins and outs of this but i'm using the shade porcelain because as you can tell i am pasty white sometimes that doesn't reflect in videos sometimes i look a bit orange but trust me i am pasty white anyone that knows me can confirm that for you to talk about my play button i haven't been to any youtube events the camera switched off Who knows why I obviously have 160k now. You don't get another reward until a million. So I'm not going to get one. Maybe ever, but maybe just not soon. If I do ever get one, which would be crazy. I've asked you guys a lot of questions on Instagram just to kind of see what you guys want to know. And then I can kind of build on that. I'm not answering like specific questions, but I kind of got the vibe of what you guys want to know through asking you guys questions. So once again, if you want to take part in those things, Instagram is kind of the way to go with me. Um... But Twitter is my main, like I post the most on Twitter, but if I'm doing like something to do with a video, it will usually be on Instagram. Do you guys see how full coverage this foundation is? And also it's got a pretty good shade range. So I'm um, hoping you guys could find something in there that's like for you, but this foundation is hella expensive for what you get. You get a quarter of an ounce. Most foundations are one fluid ounce. So I'm not sure why this one is like trying to be bougie. Do you know what I mean? I mean, maybe because it is bougie as f but like, let me know sis, hourglass, what happened? That looks <laughs> scary as f Last time I did this, I ran out of concealer, but I was waiting for this to come in. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is like my first bottle of Shape Tape and I know it's not gonna be the last, sis. This is so good and it goes such a long way. Using the shade Fair, but this is humongous. Like look at it compared to my finger. Literally my finger. You can fully spread this out on two eyes. Like look at that, like that. Like, that's it. That's two eyes done from just one dip. <sighs> and I sometimes look at beauty gurus dipping back and forth. And I'm like, sis, what you had that first time was more than f***ing enough. Like, I haven't dipped back yet and I've done my whole face. So when I see these beauty gurus dipping back in, I'm like, how is that going to blend? Where is that going to blend? Where is all of that product going? Let me know because I'm so confused right now. But it's really good. I really like it. It's got a bit of a funny smell. Like a kind of perfumey smell. But like, not like a bad smell. When I say funny, I don't mean like a... Oh, like chemicals. It's got like a perfumey scent, but you get used to it after a while and it hasn't irritated my skin and I've got pretty sensitive skin. Well, let me just tell you about like future YouTube plans. So I am posting obviously three videos a week other than last week when I had to re-upload a video from Friday on Sunday because on Friday there was problems with sub boxes for so many channels, including mine. So I took the video down after like 20 minutes and re-uploaded it on Sunday, which means I technically missed a Friday upload, but it's not because I wasn't ready it was literally just because like i was fully ready posted and everything but it was just more youtube than me which is fine i mean the system has the right to kind of f up every now and then i'm not like mad or bitter about it anymore but i did technically miss an upload but i am posting three videos a week which was stressful because i had coursework due the 6th which I did last minute, obviously, because I still had a video to edit and stuff. So I was like editing a video the day before my coursework was due while I only had half of my coursework done. Well, now I have a Christmas break from tomorrow. And then I only have, I just bought this. This is also another like YouTube beauty guru staple that I've only just started using now. <laughs> like I only just bought this. Laura Mercy translucent setting powder but yet yeah, continuing I have a break from tomorrow and then the next coursework is due January the 22nd so all of December now I'm definitely going to be on top of my bonus upload and my two regular uploads because I have no other commitments other than I'm going on holiday kind of like a little trip with my friends going Amsterdam for five days so I'm gonna definitely vlog the journey but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog there because obviously the friends I'm going with okay so I got invited by my friend and then his friends are going. So it's like I'm going with a friend and then friends of a friend. But my friend understands the whole YouTube thing and they do too. Don't get me wrong. They're not like pricks about it. But I mean like they're not YouTubers. So for me to like walk around with a camera and they'll like, you know, try and avoid it. It's kind of like an uncomfortable situation to be in for everyone. So I'm not sure how much I'll get during the trip. But I'm going to definitely get the journey and some of like the first day maybe and then i'll see how the rest goes but yeah that's gonna be my first vlog ish and this is my first time actually flying alone 
usually my parents are in charge of everything so like i don't have to worry about like do i have my passport am i gonna get let through do i have everything have i checked in like anything like that i don't have to worry about it. i just walk through the airport with my coffee and my little suitcase and i'm good to go but this time it's just me and my suitcase and maybe a coffee but then like have i checked in have i got my passport and i'm leaving at such a time in the day when my parents are at work because my flight's at 2 20 in the afternoon which means i leave my house at around like 12 because i live pretty close to the airport so i'm gonna be leaving on my own so there's not gonna be you know my mom to be like have you got this and then my dad to be like do you want me to drop you off i'm gonna have to do everything on my own which is probably how i should be doing it considering i'm literally almost 19 years old <laughs> i want to vlog it because i feel like the whole experience is going to be scary as but I feel like if I'm vlogging it, I'm kind of like talking to you guys and I'll feel like I'm there with someone instead of it just being me. This is another purchase that I was like, I would not have bought this, but someone recommended it and I was like, okay, I'm fine. Kathleen Lights, she recommended and it came in a little velvet pouch. That's when you know, when it comes in a velvet pouch, you no. I bought the Kevin Aquan contour powder, well sculpting powder in the shade light. When I open it, it's got like that perfect contour shade. It's like cool tone enough to where it contours instead of bronzing, but then it's like not so cool that it makes you look dead. However, little, how much is this? Four grams, a whole four grams was 34 pounds. This just looks like an oversized eyeshadow. I've been enjoying it. I used it once yesterday. It's just, it blends so easily. It's got that perfect shade. However, they've only got three shades online. Well, I think just three shades altogether, which is kind of shite. I understand that with like contour and bronzers, you don't need as many shades because it's not supposed to be exactly your skin tone. But three is... <sighs> You know, it's a bit of a... Mm, like, how's that gonna cover everyone? <laughs> Obviously, the light is good for me, but the light isn't gonna be good for everyone. There's a medium and there's a dark, obviously, which are like the basics. But if I was to recommend something, I'd recommend to start with five shades, not three. I feel like a lot of companies start with three shades and they think that's like enough. I'd go with six. So just double the, just put things in between. So light, light, medium 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 dark dark very dark i don't know if that's six because i couldn't be asked to count but that's how i would do it for starters and then maybe just add as i go along i still have my set of blushes and bronzer from benefit so there's the hula bronzer the coralista the blush the dandelion rocketon sugar bomb my favorite thing to do so obviously you can see the hula bronzer has been well loved i like to fill my bronzer on top of the cool tone contour is to mix coralista with hula and i just warm up the face it just creates a nice base for blush to go on top see because it's already blushy so then you just add blush and everything just kind of blends together i'm gonna go in with the same blush i went in last time because it's a really good blush and it's cruelty free and it's a dupe for for a more expensive really popular blush so milani baked blushes are really good but this one in the shade 05 luminoso is a perfect match for NARS Orgasm, which is one, more expensive, two, not cruelty free. They used to be cruelty free and then they started, started selling in China. So this is the way to go. Save the animals and save money. Crazy. I know some people have asked me if like I'm gonna end up doing YouTube full time or if I'm gonna go and do my degree job. And frankly, I don't know. Well, obviously when I was starting YouTube, it was just a kind of a hobby, you know, cause some holidays were starting and I didn't want to be bored at home. And I'm one of those people that just doesn't leave their house. Everything on this side looks so much darker than on this side because of the lighting at this point i'm not actually sure what i'm gonna end up doing full time because i've only just started doing youtube and i've just only started doing uni but the thing about youtube is things kind of happen very quickly well for me they kind of happened very quickly and then from there it's just difficult to say how how sustainable that is i literally can't make that decision until i finish uni and then i'll see where my youtube is and at what, what point my youtube career is kind of standing and then i can kind of go from there what's reflecting on my face right now is my becca highlight i used this in my last video it's my favorite highlight it's the vanilla quartz so i just kind of want to show it off because it's so pretty but yeah people have asked me like what i want to do and if I want to be a lawyer, if I'm going to do both, I definitely won't do both. If my channel is dead by the time I finish uni, 
I'll obviously just do law. If my channel is thriving, I'll probably end up just continuing YouTube for as long as possible. But I definitely won't be able to do both because law is very intense. And mainly with kind of like how I want to do, I want to do civil law or like corporate law. So you don't have time to do YouTube on the side. I didn't even have time to do a part-time job and YouTube on the side. I quit my job ages ago. I quit my job, my part-time like student job that I had like a month into doing YouTube or maybe two-ish because it's difficult to keep that going and I was blessed enough to where I could quit my job because YouTube kind of happened so quickly but I don't think I'd be able to do law and YouTube at the same time because I think that's impossible i'm like missing lips all together now which is fun it's a fun look i'm gonna for the first time i haven't used this yet so this is a first impression this is also a staple sis the urban decay all night on how have i not used this i don't know because i've been using the max studio fix oh that missed though i might just do falsies so i'm gonna come back once i've done my eyebrows and then we're gonna put on some falsies together for my eyebrows because i'm doing everything off camera i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz in medium brown and the nyx brow gel called control freak it's just a cream clear not cream clear brow gel and then for mascara i always use soap and glow thick and fast in the gold tube okay so my eyebrows are on i'm gonna put on some falsies I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow nowadays when I put falsies on I don't like to put on eyeshadow when I put on eyeshadow I don't like to put falsies I don't know my eyebrows came out semi even today <laughs> debatable there's a girl on Instagram who followed me pretty early on in my YouTube days she watched my videos I like her makeup tutorials and she came out with some false lashes but they're all sold out on the website there's three styles but I'll put her links for her private and her business Instagram on the screen right now so you'll know when they restock but I have the little clippings you know how you're supposed to shorten your lashes i've got all the clippings in there so these are biscuit lashes these are in the style rich tea and they're the most like natural looking ones so if they come back in stock get rich tea they're really nice i'll show you guys them without the cover this is what they look like they're longer on the sides smaller on the inside which is kind of how i like my lashes i don't like when they're even throughout there's blue i use duo because the most accessible and it's the clear white. I know people like to use the black one. I don't. Because I usually, when I put on my lashes, I touch my eyelid with it. And if it dries clear, then you're fine. But if it dries black, you're not fine. Okay, so my camera battery died. But I've managed to stick these bad boys on. This is what they look like. They're the kind of dramatic lashes you can wear without any eyeshadow and they just look good like they just make you look a little more put together then i'll just put on a little bit of lashes on i mean a little bit of mascara just a little bit on top to cover up my lashes and then just on the bottom lash line so i uh squirted glue everywhere because i was holding it and it tipped out into my nice dressing gown and i had to use my tangle teaser to try tease it out of my i'm so sad it literally went everywhere and then i I put on some eyeliner in my tight line. I'm gonna decide on a lip today. So I've got a lot of choices because as I said, Black Friday did things for me and it did things to my, where is the lid? I'm go oh, it's already on. I bought the, I'll put it on the screen right now instead of taking out the box, which is too much. The Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick, liquid lipstick vault, which had 10 liquid lipsticks in it. There was the light nude set and the dark nude set, which obviously I bought the light one because I'm every time i try these i want to try a different shade because that's the point also i bought the little kylie lipstick christmas collection so these are really cute as well these ones i still have the choice so i have like the reddish nude on the side then i have the really pale one and then two pink ones in the middle i never really wear pinky shades because I feel like sometimes they can look a bit mm, weird. But I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone today. Either the light one, which is called Crush, or the darker one, which is called Dusty Rose. Let's try Dusty Rose. I think I've already tried Crush as well. I'm pretty sure I tried it on and then took it off because I wasn't going anywhere. I was just trying it on so i'm gonna go with dusty rose today okay so this is kind of cleaned up now i think this looks so pretty i am shook i am shooketh to the core oh my god i love that so this is kind of the look i think we're done i feel like we spoke we chatted we have 
done whatever we needed to do. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything comment down below, and subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and in December I'm posting bonus videos on Fridays. So turn on post notifications and follow me on all my socials, they'll be on the screen right now or in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye guys!